Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today I wanted to show you a website to create SVGs to use in SoArt for free. <clears throat> I haven't done any complex designs, I just tried out an easy design this morning to kind of get you guys going, but um, I encourage you to try some harder designs and see how it works out. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm still learning about SVGs myself, but I wanted to pass on what I've learned so far. So um, this is a website that I found just on Google, svgcreator.com. And um, you come here to choose a file. This is what comes up whenever you open up your thing. And I'm going to choose a PNG of my dog just because it's easy. Right there. And we're going to click open. Your file is ready to convert. You choose convert your file. And it's funny because this is a PNG, but the SVG looks like it's actually more smooth. So, okay. And then on Mozilla, I'm not really sure how it works on individual browsers, but on Mozilla, you just choose download and it comes up up here in the right hand corner. And whenever it's blue, it means it's done. Click on it. I like to open the containing folder and I like to drag it to the desktop. It might say that there's already one there though because I have done this. <laughs> yep. Okay, so replace the file in the destination. All right, so we're going to close that. Close that. Again, that is svgcreator.com. Now we're going to open SoArt. And I don't know why I'm talking like this today. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so now we're in SoArt. And normally, I'm just going to show you what well, we're going to open the original PNG in here. Okay, right there, Eddie in black and white. It's two colors to our naked eye, right? But up here, it's going to be 64 colors. It's because there's all these pixels and all this help that it needs. So if I was going to use this PNG that's a simple black and white image, I'd still have to do a lot of color reduction. And even if I brought it down to two immediately, it would probably roughen up these edges. So you have to do it gradual. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So let's close out Eddie PNG and let's open its SVG and it'll just be called generated. There it is. Choose open. And go up here to the colors. Just two colors, black and white, just like it's supposed to be. Choose OK. And then you can go in here to stitch image and you can either choose manual. It's already ready with the default. So you can just choose somewhere on him. Well, Actually, I think it does matter where you seat it. So let's clear that. Let's start it up here at the top where it's flat. Okay, so you could do that, or you can auto sew image, set transparent color. That is going to make it where you don't um, stitch out the white. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I hope that this was helpful. If you're using PNGs, I suggest that you start converting them to SVGs. If you're, um, if you have the opportunity to make your files SVGs to begin with to use in SoArt, I would highly encourage that. SVGs, I wish that I had known about them when I first started teaching because they're so easy. It just makes SoArt so much more enjoyable. Alrighty, I hope that this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.